Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you how to use the new quick pay and quick allocate facilities that were introduced in Avanti version 2.4. These facilities enable you to make payments really quickly and to allocate transactions, uh, for example uh, credit notes or unallocated uh, payments against invoices really quickly uh, to the point where I find myself actually using it more now than the main payment form. Uh, so we'll crack on anyway and, uh, and we'll we'll show you these facilities. The first thing we'll do is we'll go into the, the customer section to make uh, a payment for a customer. So we'll select the customer option on the toolbar at the top and we'll pick the customer here and we'll have a look at their history. So here we have their recent history and we'll notice here on the screen that we've actually got a couple of overdue invoices for this customer. So if we if we pick one of these uh, overdue invoices in the list, and we right click, we'll notice we've got a quick pay option on the menu. Uh, it, this option is also available from the uh, the options tool button at the top. So when we click this and we get a drop down, we can see the quick pay option there. So we'll select this now, and we get the quick pay form up, and as you can see the, the invoice that we selected is already there to be allocated we've got the payment amount which is the total amount that's over you we can put a reference in and some some details and we can select the bank account and most of the things that we can do with a normal payment uh, but just to make it really quick so when we're done we can simply click the OK button but in this case uh, I want to show you something else so we're going to uh, cancel this for, for a moment so back in the list we can see we've got another overdue invoice so what we can do if we want to pay both of these we can use multi select so we need to uh, simply hold down the control key on the keyboard pick uh, the invoices that we want and then right click and select quick pay from the menu and you can see that we've got the two invoices here that we're going to allocate against and the total amount of the, of the payment is already the total outstanding on those two invoices but we can change that if we want so we just pop in quick reference, some details uh, and click OK to save the, the payment and there we go we can see there that it's uh, created a new payment it's allocated the two invoices and that's all done really really quickly simply by multi selecting the or selecting the transactions that we want to to actually pay so in the next thing we want to show you is the quick allocate which is a similar facility uh, what we'll do, we'll close this and we'll go to a different customer. And we'll go to their history as well. And if you look at the bottom of the list, we can see we've got an unallocated payment here. Uh, so, which means that at some point a pay payment has been recorded, but no invoices were allocated against it. So, the quick on the quick allocate facility is really useful for for doing this. You can do it through the main payment form it's a little bit more work involved than, than this this makes it really really easy to do so we simply pick up our unallocated payment pick an invoice you can use a multi select by holding down the control key right clicking and select quick allocate from the menu which is now available to us and we can see the transactions are listed uh, much more simpler form all that we have to do is to confirm that we want to allocate by clicking OK and then we can see that, we, that the payment is now allocated the invoice is now uh, part paid because uh, there wasn't enough money on the payment to fully pay it and that's how quick and easy it is to do a quick allocate so we hope you like this facility we hope that you'll use it